Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to the quarterfinals of the Opera Euro Rapid 2021. And I would like to show you, of course, one of the games. Now, we have eight uh, quarter finalists and they are, of course, in the pairs. Magnus Carlsen against Daniel Dubov, Maxim Vashiel Lagraf against Levon Aronian, Wesley So against Jan Krzysztof Duda and Taimur Rajabov against Anish Giri. Now, they going to play two mini matches and who's better in these two mini matches is going to advance to the semi-finals now if it's a draw they're gonna play the third mini match and uh, of course the winner gonna advance to the semi-finals if nobody wins they're gonna play of course uh, another mini mini match uh, and then if needed also they are going to play armageddon game so this was always the format in this case. So first day of the quarterfinals and I would like to show you the game between Wesley So who's going to play with the black pieces against Jan Krzysztof Duda with white pieces. Uh, also, at the end, I will show you all the scores. So if you are uh, interested, then of course, stay till the end. Uh, Jan Krzysztof Duda open with the knight f3. So Zuckertort opening, we have d5, we have e3, we have knight f6, we have also c4. So Jan Krzysztof Duda is waiting with the moves like, like d4. Uh, sometimes he plays the systems with c4. He's a very, very familiar with them. We have e6, we have knight c3, we have bishop e7 and now b3. So the bishop going to uh, stay on this long diagonal, which always is uh, pretty good stuff here. We have the castle, we have bishop b2, we have c5 um, by Wesley So. C takes on d5, knight takes on d5, of course, this is all the theory. I, I don't want to, you know, uh, tell you too much about that. There are a couple of interesting variations. However, there are not plenty of games. I mean, still a couple of hundred games, but these are not, uh, you know, the, the openings which are you know the most the most popular but still if you want to play be out of the book uh, very early uh, it's good to know some of them we have queen c2 we have knight c6 and now h4 now h4 move is actually uh, played quite often nowadays especially after um, 2016 when Magnus Carlsen started to play that Sergei Karyakin later Daniel Dubov so h4 is the is the main idea nowadays uh, and here what black usually do is knight c to b4, no, sorry, this is not c knight, knight c to b4 with the attack on the on the queen. And the queen um, usually goes to b1, blocking the rook. So that's the main idea, not so bad. Of course, the, the knight gonna be kicked pretty soon, but you know, tempo here, tempo there, and it's always fight for, for one little advantage. Uh, also, what is possible here is play h6, um, also b6 with bringing the bishop on this diagonal, so these are very well-known ideas. However, Wesley so went for f5. Now you would say, hey, but this is the weakness, the backward pawn, but not really, because how to attack this pawn uh, as the e file is not really opened or semi-opened and also the king still stays in the center maybe young Krzysztof Duda is going to you know castle on the queen side maybe not um, so f5 maybe in the future maybe you know play something with the with the f4 with the support of this of this knight uh, why not everything up to young Krzysztof Duda what he is going to play we have one game in the database where a3 was played but here young Krzysztof Duda was in the you know fighting mood this this is the, the game, this is, I think this is the last game. In the first, Jan Krzysztof Duda won. In the second, Wesley so won. Both of these games were like very, very long, grinding end game. And both of the players were definitely very tired. And here, Jan Krzysztof Duda decided, okay, let's go, all in, boom, G4. So we have G4, and now this move is, of course, not really correct. Um, the, the engine doesn't like it at all, but black have to be very, very careful here what to do here. So first we have knight takes on c3, uh, d takes on c3, and now this pawn on e3 doesn't have the full support from that pawn. So this is the first thing. On um, from the f2 also it's not that easy to castle now this is the main problem because the queen uh, is watching at d1 now 
What is suggested by the engine is, you will not believe, but the strongest move in the position is actually F takes on G4. And that means uh, the G file is going to be open or H file is going to be open. So for example, uh, knight G5, bishop G5, H takes on G5. And now, of course, this looks already like very, very dangerous for black. So Wesley saw actually avoid that, but the engine says this is the best. So calm down, play something like G6. And even if you have bishop D3 and this attack is just, you know, a very, very dangerous, especially if another bishop is going to join the action however after queen g5 and let's say castle on the queen side the engine says hey this position is pretty much comfortable to play just go for the e5 and so on however as a human probably in the rapid time control you would not like to play you know such a defensive position it's a very very difficult for for black to play so this is why wesley so went for uh, for e5 still not allowing the castle on the queen side and now we have bishop c4 with the check, so uh, with the tempo, king h8, and only now knight g5. And here Wesley so just locked the position in the center. He played e4, creating very nice outpost for this knight. So the plan is easy. Bring the knight behind the pawn and then jump here or here, and it can be very unpleasant for white. White still can't castle. So we have rook d1 now attacking the queen, queen e8. So maybe the queen would like to go, uh, for example, on the king side. If this pawn disappear, why not? Uh, we have now knight e6, very unpleasant move by uh, Jan Krzysztof Duda, attacking the rook, also threatening um, to make this fork. So not much choice by Wesley. So uh, we have bishop e6, bishop e6, and now knight e5 as planned. Uh, we have g takes on f5. Uh, Jan Krzysztof Duda said, okay, you don't... Um, you know you don't take my pawn then i'm gonna take your pawn uh, especially that this knight could for example also jump to g4 uh, which together with this pawn controlling f3 also could be unpleasant but now this knight is still you know going to um to the center so we have knight d3 uh, delivering the check and now white doesn't have much choice here uh, but everything is okay uh, because after exchanging Yes, white sacrifice the exchange, however, still having this dangerous pa pair of bishops and black still have to be very, very careful. We have rook d8 uh, in our game, queen e4 and, and now queen h5. So the queen is uh, already on the king side uh, and already we have the threat, very serious. This is the check made on d1. So f3 is um, forced, we have bishop f6. Now stabilizing the position, this bishop is watching on this diagonal, so you know c4 opening this diagonal is not longer possible, and now we have king e2 making a space for the rook on the first rank, so the rook of course uh, can be more mobile. Uh, for now the rook of course is defending h4, but in the future we will see. And now we have rook d6 uh, preparing to double the rooks. Now this is a very very important moment of the game, because Jan Krzysztof Duda had the chance to still keep the tension here. Uh, what he should play probably here is queen b7 it looks like okay this is only one pawn uh, but this is very very important pawn now these pawns are uh, a little bit you know vulnerable and black still doesn't have you know very strong attack on the king of course they can play something like rook f to d8 uh, you know make this battery However, bishop c1, uh, definitely bishop c3 would be the option here just to bring another piece to the to the d2. Uh, but then just come back to queen e4. And now what to do with this queen? This queen is completely misplaced here. Probably would have to find some other entry point, but where to where to find it? maybe queen e8 which looks pretty good especially that the queen for example could come to b5 and deliver the check here and enter the game but of course white still can you know make some hedgehog position here and now we don't really um, know you know who is attacking whom the position is extremely extremely uh, double edge and black has the control over the d file but the position of the king is not that great especially the bishop is controlling the square and 
when the pawn for example can come to h6 and you don't really have this this g6 like really comfortable way to play that i mean this is the best what what black will have to do but then after exchanging everything the king gonna be also vulnerable so this probably would be the best uh, option for um, for white to play. Uh, of course, queen e8 could be played also first, which could be, of course, much more uh, dangerous. But then white would have the option of blocking the d file. So how to do that? First, probably just sacrifice this pawn, play something like rook d1, and after a queen d8, then block the position with the bishop. Bishop d5, and this should be enough here. Of course, this pawn gonna gonna be taken c4. But now this um, this bishop is very difficult to imagine how to deal with the bishop, and already this bishop got. The this, this open diagonal without losing the pawn on the on the c3 so probably bishop f6 bishop f6 queen f6 and e4 and the position is pretty okay for white as well uh, very difficult for black actually to find the way to force this all these pawns on the light squares as black doesn't have any any minor pieces and this bishop in the center it's really really um, a king of the position so I, i'm not sure how to play with this with black especially white have two extra pawns yes black has this passed pawn which can be uh, dangerous but at the same time this pawn is vulnerable this pawn is vulnerable one of them will probably fall and then white will have the past pawn as well so still very very double edge game however Jan Krzysztof Duda a little bit freak out here and he played queen g4 and now the problem is that Wesley so goes to e8 and now this queen is misplaced on g4 and moreover this pawn is still on the board so actually nothing white achieved completely nothing here we have h5 so at least Jan Krzysztof Duda want to attack the position of the king this is his plan but now queen d8 and now this is extremely dangerous the rook of course is going to d2 so bishop c1 is forced now bishop c3 this pawn of course is lost um, and now h6 Jan Krzysztof Duda uh, continues the attack g6 is the only answer here uh, and now let's see what are the options for white because white has a really really difficult position here if the rook comes to the d2 what to do so first of all let's check f takes on uh, g6 uh, of course h takes on g6 would be the best idea again the reason is that black will need this h7 square um, later in the more complicated position and the thing is that this pawn actually this would be too slow because now rook d2 of course is winning for for black uh b, let's say bishop d2 queen d2 and now there is of course the checkmate so not much can be done here uh this of course is losing immediately uh and even if king f1 so we don't touch the rook then of course rook a1 and the queen gonna come to d1 not much can be done about that the bishop cannot you know cover that the queen cannot cover um these pawns are the shelter but in this case actually disrupt the coordination of pieces of white so after h takes on g6 what would have to be played probably is f4 making a space for the king but then black can just continue with for example queen e7 uh, focusing on the bishop bishop would have to retreat uh, and then queen e4 again with the tempo on the rook and blocking the pawn on e3 so rook g1 and now there are a couple of ways of winning to capitalize that position black can focus on this pawn or very simply just double the rooks and attack on the d5 uh, the king probably would have to uh, run as fast as possible because rook d2 was coming uh, but still we have queen c2 king g2 uh, and now rook d1 wins the game attacking the bishop twice uh, and that means white would be forced to exchange all the pieces here uh, this bishop is still hanging so after exchanging everything the problem is that this bishop has to go to a3 uh, and after b6 this bishop is stuck over there so uh, black with uh, extra exchange would easily easily win the game this pawn of course not gonna have any support and, and and yeah this is completely winning for black so 
f takes on g6 just doesn't work yet rook g1 would be slightly better uh, of course black still have to be very careful there are no options of, of of playing anything like that because okay you have the bishop on this diagonal of course i hope everybody sees that that this is still the checkmate as this bishop is extremely dangerous here and with this pawn so have to have to watch out but of course after rook g1 what black can do is simply play rook d2 and after bishop d2 queen d2 uh, king f1 now we're not gonna have the the instant mating net but we also have a lot of time so first rook d8 and now after f takes on g6 h takes on g6 and queen g6 now very very slowly this time there is no mate because the king always can escape to h7 so this time after taking with this pawn there is completely no problem so black has a lot of time here queen e3 is completely winning here and the best what of course white can do because there is the checkmate on f3 and defending this would be just too passive the rook gonna come and end the game the best what white can do is actually exchange the queen for two pieces and this is the best what, what they can do so after bishop g7 h takes on g7 king h7 just promote to the queen and after exchanging everything we would have this position where white can try to create some kind of fortress maybe bring the bishop to e4 where it cannot be attacked and gonna protect the pawn but it's impossible actually to hold that this this is completely winning for black too many weaknesses and these are three pawns against against two pawns so that should be also enough to win the game so the position already is extremely difficult this move you know misplacing the queen to g4 was very very costly young Krzysztof duda tried queen c4 attacking the the bishop but of course uh, we're gonna have now rook d2 with the check bishop d2 queen d2 with the check and this bishop is also defended we have king f1 and now as i said very very slowly there is no rush here queen e3 still keeping an eye uh, on the bishop uh jan krzysztof duda tries to exchange the queens but wesley so is not interested queen c1 with the check king g2 queen g5 with the check uh, now we have queen g4 trying to exchange uh but of course queen d2 uh king h3 and now g takes on f5 now the problem is if white just you know take the pawn we're gonna have rook g8 with the attack on the queen and now the queen has completely nowhere to go the queen can uh just exchange for this rook but that's gonna be of course uh winning for for black uh, or just move somewhere but it doesn't really matter this makes uh, more space for the for the white king uh but then simply queen g2 and as you already see this is going to be the checkmate this is forced checkmate so not even possible uh young Krzysztof duda try queen h5 uh but after bishop e5 uh he tries to play f4 queen f4 and he in this position he just resign and he resigned because there is the very simple checkmate on g3 so uh he cannot do much about that if he brings the rook here to g1 he gonna have uh, checkmate on h2 so that doesn't work if queen h4 just to try to cover the, the rook is still covering here but then we're gonna have queen f3 and there is only one legal move uh so of course that's gonna be the checkmate as well uh the best what white could do in this position is actually king g2 try to run but black also can win pretty easily uh queen g3 king f1 everything is pretty much forced bishop d4 now we're gonna have the checkmate on f2 uh, and after rook h2 just queen g1 with check and after king e2 queen e3 winning the bishop and of course the game this is completely unplayable there is no hope for white so this is why after queen f4 uh Jan Krzysztof Duda resigned and as I promised I would like to show you the quarterfinals what just happened Magnus Carlsen won two games out of three games should be four games but once Magnus got two and a half points um then of course they stopped playing as he won the first mini match Maxim Vasil Lagraf and Levon Aronian played four games two and a half to one and a half uh Wesley saw the same two and a half uh two one and a half against Jan Krzysztof Duda and Temur Rajabov with Anish Giri 
they just have both of them have two points so of course uh, today we are going to have uh, another mini match day and yeah if Daniel Dubov uh, Levon Aronian Jan Krzysztof Duda wants to stay in the tournament they have to definitely win the second the second day of the quarterfinals Temur Rajabov and Anish Giri if any of them wins then of course the another uh, gonna advance if they don't then of course of the all of the players gonna play uh, the third mini match in this quarterfinals so I hope you understand all the system and if you like this video press like if for some reason you don't like it press unlike and if you don't want to miss other news from the Opera Euro Rapid 2021 press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one